Have you ever considered investing in an Airbnb property but didn't know where to invest in or what key factors to look for? If you ever asked that question, then this video is for you. What's going on, my beautiful people? Fernando David here. Let me begin by giving you some numbers that when I read them, kind of blew my mind, even though I've been in this industry for a long time. And I saw similar numbers, but these numbers are coming from Airbnb. And according to their data, an Airbnb host in Florida saw an increase of over 85% in revenue in 2021 in comparison to 2019. Let me give you that number again, because that number blew my mind. In 2021, a host, first of all, nationwide saw increases in revenue, but in specifically, or particularly in South Florida, saw an increase in revenue of over 85% when compared to 2019. Now that number is mind blowing. And if you've been reading about the US housing market, predictions are that Airbnb, not only is it here to stay, but the demand for Airbnbs is going to be, or is going to continue to increase despite opposition from hotel lobbyists, homeowners association, and some governments. So the numbers show that Airbnb is not only here to stay, but that if done right, can be a phenomenal investment. So let me give you the two key factors that you should be looking for. It's actually three, because I kind of mentioned one, but we're gonna talk about two initially. And that is demand and occupancy rate. Let's talk about demand. And what demand am I talking about? What you should be considering is, or the area in which you should be considering to invest in, is an area that has a high demand, but not only in tourism, because obviously that's what we think about when we think about Airbnb, but also in business travel. Florida has saw that dramatic increase, not only because a tourist hotspot, but because in the last couple of years, Florida, the governor, and some mayors like Mayor Suarez in Miami have aggressively courted and push for businesses to come to Florida to work and to do business here. We also are pushing, and the government is also pushing, for remote workers to come down here and work. That push is what I believe contributed to that 85% increase in revenue in 2021. And just to put things in perspective, there really isn't a weekend in Florida, at least in the, you know, from January to now, actually from January to the end of spring, that Florida doesn't have a major event happening. I'm just gonna name off a couple so you can get an idea of how often we have events here. And here's a couple. Florida recently hosted, it's a crypto convention. Don't remember the name, but it was a huge crypto convention that brought in not only crypto investors, but tons of businesses. And I think it's the first time within the crypto community that businesses came to learn about crypto and how businesses can, can take advantage of cryptocurrencies. That was a big event in Miami. Then we have Formula One, the Miami Boat Show, the Miami Film Festival, uh, the Florenco Film Festival, oh, the Flanco Festival, I'm sorry. Ultra, Florida Derby, the Miami Open, the Miami Beach Gay Parade. I mean, the list goes on and on. So not only are we getting our usual tourists to come in from the, around the world, but now we're getting lots of businesses and people doing business coming to Florida because uh, Florida is becoming known as a business friendly state. So when investing in an Airbnb property, you have to invest in a location that has a high demand, but again, not only in tourism, but in business travelers because business travel industry in general has decreased. There's areas in which it has increases. All right, so now let's talk about occupancy rate and why occupancy rate is important. Occupancy rate is going to determine how much money a property is going to make. Many people think that it is the number or the value that you give that property, meaning what's going to be the daily rate that determines uh, how much money you're gonna make in that property. But in reality, that's not true. Occupancy rate is what matters and what's going to determine whether that 
Airbnb property is going to be successful or not. I tell the, all my clients the following. When you're investing in an Airbnb property, it's really not a real estate investment. You're really investing in a business. And the Airbnb business is exactly that, a business. When you think about it that way, you realize why occupancy rate is important, right? If you own a shop, no matter what it is, you want people to come there. It doesn't matter what you have there or what you're selling. If you don't have the customer, then you don't have the business, right? So that's why occupancy rate is extremely important. So you want to look at data and our company can help you identify what the data is, but there are softwares and there's stuff that you can find on the internet to determine what the occupancy rate is for a specific city and even a specific neighborhood to help you determine what that rate is. So I'm gonna give you some numbers in Florida because once again, Florida has the highest occupancy rate in the nation when it, when it comes to Airbnbs. So, and you may be asking, what's a good occupancy rate? Some people say, obviously, 100% occupancy is good. I don't agree with that because if you're 100% occupied, then you your property is actually not valued or priced appropriately. I think the magic number is between 70 and 80% occupied. Then you have that. And if the demand is there, if you're in an area with, which already has a high demand, for Airbnbs. In that case, then if your occupancy rate is between 70 and 80%, I think you hit that magic number in terms of revenue. And I can explain that for those that are interested uh, in, a, in another vi video. So just comment below if you want me to go deeper in that. And then I'll, if, if the comments are there or if the demand is there, I will go ahead and do a separate video. But let me give you some numbers that are coming from Airbnb in terms of occupancy rate for cities in Florida. And there are a lot, so let me go over. The number one is Key West. Key West averages an occupancy rate of 75%. There's the number. The following are between 65 and higher, and I'm just gonna name them off. Miami Beach, Orlando, Jacksonville, Florida, St. Petersburg, Sarasota, Miami, Lake Worth, which surprised me because Lake Worth is a little city in Palm Beach County. Naples, Tampa, Fort Myers, West Palm Beach, Boca Raton, Miami Gardens, and this one surprised me as well, Green Acres. That blew my mind, but anyways. As you can see, that's a lot of cities within the state of Florida that have an occupancy rate of higher than 60%, which is phenomenal, okay? So again, when considering where to buy, I'm gonna recap, you need to look for an area which has a high demand in tourism and a high demand in business travel. Then you need to consider what is the occupancy rate for that city or that neighborhood. And it's gonna require a little bit of homework, but you can, you can do it and you can determine what the average occupancy rate is. I'm gonna add something to that in a second. But those are the key factors you should be looking for. I mentioned there was gonna be a third factor in there and that is regulation. You need to be careful where you buy because regulation can destroy your business. Florida, as I mentioned before, has become, and there's been a big push for businesses to come here because Florida is not going to heavy, heavily regulate you. I'm gonna use the city of Miami Beach as, a, as an example. The city of Miami Beach historically was, in my opinion, because of the lobbyists for hotels, were against short-term rentals. But Miami Beach realized that's a losing battle. So now, if you looked at that number that I mentioned in terms of occupancy rate, Miami Beach is number two in the state in terms of occupancy rates for Airbnbs. But again, be very careful at where you invest in and make sure you you understand what the laws are in that particular city, county, and or state. And there's another governing body that you really need to be careful of, and those are homeowners association. I particularly do not invest in any property that's within a homeowners association because that governing body could at any time change the rules on you and prevent you from running your Airbnb. So I forgot to mention, I was gonna give you another place outside of the US that I believe you should be investing in. And that's going to be the country of Colombia and the country of Portugal. If you look at the trends, if you look at their occupancy rate for tourism, 
uh, or the demand for tourism and their and business travel, as well as the occupancy rates for their Airbnbs, the trend for that is steadily going up. Two places in particular in Colombia that I highly recommend you invest in is Cartagena and Bogota. If you look at Cartagena, tourism in 2021 was up by 52%. In Bogota, business travel was up by 88% in 2021. You cannot go into a restaurant, into a mall, without running into business travelers, in particular business travelers from China. China, if you're not aware, is heavily investing in South America and they're using Colombia, in particular Bogota, as their hub. Now, I hope this information was useful, helpful. If it was, do me a big favor, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, follow us on Instagram. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.